about an incredible thing called fins across Florida and introduce you to one really big fish. Stay tuned. Giant tarpon, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful tarpon. It's a symbol of Florida's marine life. It's now immortalized as fiberglass sculptures coming soon to the Bay Area. It's all courtesy of the Outdoor Arts Foundation. And here with details about this project and who benefits are Jay Gould, artists Irene Christou, and Jeff Monsine, plus Dennis Kellenberger from Reef Monitoring Incorporated. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Now, I think a lot of people that might see these, if they're not familiar with your organizations and what you do, they'll, they'll look at these and go, why? Giant tarpon, why? What, 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 what do you have going awesome. on here? <laughs> well, people have seen what we've done in the past with fiberglass sea turtles, fiberglass manatees. Mm -hmm. This is now our first statewide effort where we plan to have different fish species in each city across Florida. And so the Tampa Bay area being our home base is now home to our Tampa Bay Tarpon Project. So we can go to different cities. Where else are we going to see your, your This artwork? is the first project. We're hoping to have sailfish over on the east coast of Florida, Pompano and Pompano Beach. We're looking to do uh, you know, beyond all the game fish, we have uh, interior lakes, so largemouth bass, sea trout, or lake trout. Um. So, Irene, uh, we are holding up your fish here. Um, <laughs> how exactly does this work? How did you do this? How? What was the uh, the whole impetus for this project then? Okay. Um, well, it starts off as a fiberglass base, um, mm -hmm. similar to what this one looks like, and we just stuck the ground. I mean, stuck the tile on with adhesive, and then grouted it. Uh -huh. And I got the design idea from just thinking of Florida. Basically, it's a, a beach scene with the sun setting over the water, and these are the rays. Uh, I named it Sunny Side Up. So how long did it take you? This is all done by hand, I'm guessing. Yes. How long did it take you just to do this one tarpon, which is about six feet, probably over six feet tall, long? Yes, yeah, six feet by three feet is really big. It took two months of work. Um, and that's eight hours a day? Yeah. Like all day? No, well, not eight yeah. hours a day, but um, I would say about <laughs> this piece right here, just the yellow part, would be about two hours worth of work. Wow. So. Do you draw this on first and then follow kind of your your design on I here? I did, I did. It was easier to do it that way, but... Um, this is just phenomenal. Yeah, so just go as you go. Primarily, these are uh, not only beautiful pieces of artwork, but they're, they're educational turos as well, correct? That's right. I mean, whenever we do these projects, we want to educate people about the animals that we're representing. So with the turtles and the manatees, they're obviously an endangered species. Tarpon aren't an endangered species, but right now, especially with the oil spill out in the Gulf, their environment is, is uh, somewhat endangered, and that's why we've brought Dennis on board to help with the educational side of the project, and his organization helps to keep our waters clean and, and keep these fish healthy and beautiful. I think Dennis would look good done in fiber. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's next? Yeah. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> so, Dennis, tell us a little bit about how Reef Monitoring is involved with this project. Well, Reef Monitoring is a new nonprofit organization. In fact, we just had our first event of, uh, of uh, marine science education, monitoring the reefs, trying to get baseline studies to see what uh, type of, of uh, status is on the reefs. And it, it was created by Dr. Matthews back in 2005 before the, re the oil spill, to, mm -hmm. uh, to just in case you did have oil spill, you know what the value of your reefs are. And the other thing that we're doing now is uh, developing uh, marine science education programs, also reef cleanups. We just have one where we're removing entanglement uh, material like ropes, crab trap ropes and things like that. They haven't been really touched on these reefs out here, so we're, we're doing that. Uh, and you know, with this program here, uh, where Jay and I have worked uh, over the years with, like the tour turtles and with the tarpon, it's again to send an educational message out there. You know, tarpon are an important part of the ecology mm -hmm. and you have a lot of fishermen, a lot of people that move into the state that don't understand or really realize the importance of our ecology, the water, and how wherever you're living affects the uh, ecosystem. So, Jeff, tell us where, like, if somebody wants one of these, or if a group wants one, how, how does how does that work, and and so forth. Well, that would be a J question. <laughs> <laughs> these uh, tarpon are actually sponsored by local businesses uh, who get the artists on board. Irene was sponsored by JCon. Jeff was sponsored by the Freedom Playground Association. And so we have all different kinds of sponsors that come on board. We match the sponsors up with the artists. The artists create their masterpieces. And then in March of next year, they're going to go on display at both West Shore Plaza and the main transfer level of Tampa International Airport, where oh, wow. we currently have children's playhouses on display. And when the playhouses go away, the tarpon
Europe and we'll swim in and that will be our next display for next year. All and right. Jeff, you seem to be, I, correct me if I'm wrong, inspired a little bit by maybe seashells or mermaids? Well, it's actually not complete yet. So really? You know that this is just the beginning. And these are capiz shells. These are actually real shells. Oh, wow. And they've been grouted on here in the form of scales. And that took you how long to put together? Right? I, I, thus far, it's a work to in progress. Point. Well, actually, my, my wonderful wife helped me work on this all night last night, so it's only one day so far. Stop you did, it right wait, now. Wait, you did all this in a day? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, check this out. You can go to Studio10.tv later on today, and you can see these incredible tarpon again. And as Jay said, you're going to be able to see them in Tampa International Airport coming up not too long from now. And, of course, you can learn more about reef monitoring as well at our website. Thanks, what, guys. What do you think these weigh? A lot. Something about 50 pounds. <laughs> Is your arm tired yet? No. <laughs> hey, it's I'm Friday. giving it a hug. It's Friday, and that can only mean one thing. Uh, you're going to review another movie. I'm going to bring you my review of David Fincher's The Social Network in this week's Array for Hollywood. So stay tuned.